are these? You got flower. Oh my God, they're gorgeous. Aren't they? Oh, look at the. Just because I love you. How sweet is my husband? Oh, let's see, someone went the extra mile last night. <laughs> no. I guess Doug just felt like being a little sweetie. Say he appreciates what a great wife I am. Thank you very much. That's right, got some flowers here. That's right, keep walking, baby. Oh, Carrie, hi. I left those on your desk so I could get water for them. What? You don't mind? Oh, no, yeah, well, sure, anytime. <laughs> they're beautiful, aren't they? Yes, they're very nice. Can I have them? Oh. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Oh, and, and here's the card. It's it's sweet. You'll like it. Thanks. Uh, not gonna lie to you. That's hard to look at. Yeah. yeah. We'll see you later, Karen. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. So. How was your day? What do you see here, Doug? I'm curious. The kitchen with fixins. <laughs> I was gonna put this stuff away. When, Doug? When? As soon as my guests leave, if you haven't noticed, I'm entertaining. <laughs> yeah, entertaining. Four idiots who are comparing smells. <laughs> and by the way, Spence wins. <laughs> What's going on? What's your problem? Why are you in such a bad mood? I am not in a bad mood. You, you are in a bad mood, okay? What the hell is your problem? You want to know what my problem is? I'll tell you what my problem is. Amy Samuel's got flowers today. And? <laughs> Did she shove them up your... No! <laughs> you want to tell me who Amy Samuels is? She's a girl I work with, and her husband sent her flowers today. And? And they ended up on my desk, and I thought they were from you, and I went on and on about what a great guy you are. So, so, so you're mad at me, because someone who I don't know got flowers from her husband, who I also don't know. I'm not mad at you, Doug. It's just that, you know, a lot of people were standing around. I look like an idiot. So am I in trouble or not? No, you're not in trouble, Doug. And yet I am. No, I mean, it's my own fault. I should have known they weren't from you. Whoa, 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 what do you mean you should have known? Why, you don't do stuff like that anymore. What? Yes, I do. Oh, really, Doug? When was the last time you sent me flowers for no reason? Okay, okay, good question. <laughs> Fair question, a question that certainly deserves an answer. <laughs> what was the question again? The question was, when was the last time you sent me flowers for no reason? Ah, uh, ah, uh, last Valentine's Day. Hmm? Okay. First of all, it was Valentine's Day, so it wasn't for no reason. And second of all, you didn't get me flowers. Right, but then you got mad that I didn't get you flowers, and then I got you flowers. All right, Doug, let me show you something. You might find it a little interesting. New shoes? No, not new shoes. This is all the little romantic stuff you sent me over the years. Look at this, look, look. The first rose petal pressed in a book, look. A matchbook from Peter Luger's Steakhouse, huh? Oh, and do you remember this? What is it? You don't remember this? Remember we were driving up to Monticello and I got car sick, so you, you bought me this little frog at the rest stop to, to make me feel better? Remember mm. you, you named him Monty, short for Monticello? Oh, yeah. Monty, I remember him. Darling, do me a favor. Please don't puke on the lever. <laughs> God, I can't believe you saved them. Of course I saved him. I love Monty. I mean, look, Doug, look at all these cards you sent me for no reason. Look at this one. This is this is when we first met. Dear Carrie, I have trouble saying this face to face, but I think you're the sweetest, cutest, hottest, kindest, smartest, funniest, greatest girl I've ever known. And I can really see myself spending the rest of my life with you. All my love, Doug Heffernan. <laughs> Okay, and fast forwarding to the most recent card. Happy belated birthday, XO Doug. That one I really didn't need to write a lot. Hallmark nailed it. 